Human Rights Advocacy Group called the Eye of the Humanities Center for Rights and Development has released its new report on the number of victims of Saudi led war on Yemen over the past six years. The report says more than 43,000 civilians are hurt or killed in relentless airstrikes across Yemen since Saudi Arabia launched a war on its southern neighbor. It says nearly 4,000 children are among those killed so far. In statistics of 2300 days of Saudi aggression showed over 43,000 casualties, including the loss of lives of about 4,000 children. During the war, economic infrastructure and facilities, including means of agricultural production, were heavily targeted. The Saudi-led coalition has committed most horrible massacres of civilians, with some of its strikes killing dozens of children. Unfortunately, the international community, including the United Nations, remains silent towards the crimes being committed against millions of Yemenis. Health facilities have not been spread either, as the Saudi-led coalition has targeted 391 hospitals and clinics, causing a catastrophic situation to the country's healthcare system. Various civilian facilities protected by international humanitarian law have been targeted, especially hospitals and other health facilities, even those run by international aid groups such as Doctors Without Borders and the International Committee of Red Cross. Also, the unjust siege and arbitrary restriction on the entry of food and medicine have deteriorated this health situation. The relentless bombardments of civilian areas by the Saudi-led coalition's warplanes and artillery units have turned more than half a million homes into ruin and displaced millions of Yemenis. In fact, the destruction of agricultural and other economic sectors have contributed to pushing the country to the brink of famine. The extent of casualties and damage reveals the brutality of the Saudi-led coalition toward Yemen. Despite all the crimes, the West continues to show its double standard when it comes to Yemen, as well as amid continued neglect of the international bodies, including the United Nations. Reporting for Press TV, Al-Dratif Sana.